Hey chess friends, welcome to a new video. Today we are going to work with a very common problem we chess players have. And it is this question, how to avoid blunders. So if you like the idea of learning and understanding 8 interesting tips that could definitely help you to reduce the number of blunders you have in your games, then stay there, watch and think. The first tip I want to give you is not actually a tip, it's more like an idea, but still I think it's very important to understand it. So here it goes. If you play chess, you blunder. You're not removing blunders from the earth. That is not going to happen. Even if you are a good player or a professional player or even a world champion watching this video, at some point you will blunder. So in some way we need to learn to live with them. I think it is very important to keep this in mind before we continue with the next tips. My second tip is going to be solve many puzzles. The idea is that the majority of blunders are related to tactical oversights. So if you're getting good solving tactics, then you can reduce the number of blunders in your games. By the way, when I say solve many puzzles, I mean actually many puzzles. Don't expect to be better with blunders after solving 30 puzzles. That is not going to happen. But if you can solve, for example, let's say a number um, 1000 puzzles, then you could expect some improvement. So if you solve like 30 puzzles every day, maybe in one or two months, you can notice some improvement in your game. The third idea is in your games, work with checks, captures, and threats. Every time you check, capture, or threaten something, your opponent has to solve something. So get used to work with these kind of moves. Even if you're analyzing your opponent's moves or your own moves, try to think first about checks, captures, or threats. The next tip is very simple, also very logical, but it's a very common mistake in beginners. So I need to say it. Here it goes. Do not rush. Even if you think you have a very strong move, even if you think you are winning with your move, you don't have to play it immediately. The pieces are not going anywhere, so you can take your time, you can make sure your idea is actually good, is actually strong, and then when you are really sure about that, then you can play it. This is very simple, this is a very subtle tip, but it is very powerful, it can change your life. My opponent plays queen f6, I can play here knight d5, attacking the queen, also attacking c7, this move cannot be bad. Hmm. My move was actually bad, I should listen to Mike when he said, do not rush. The tip number 5 is review your move before you play it. Let's say you have been analyzing some options and finally you decided which is your favorite. Don't play it immediately. Review, take a second look before you actually play it on the board. It's also very simple, but if you get used to do it every time, I mean in every move, it can make a big difference. My opponent just plays knight g6, attacking my queen, so I'm planning to play queen e4, but I need to review before I play, so let me analyze this move. Queen e4, if he takes with the queen, I capture with the pawn, and fine. Oh wait, he can capture my queen with his knight, that's not good. I almost blunder here, thank goodness I saw Mike's video. Instead of queen f4, I can play here queen e4. I like that move. Oh, checkmate! I blunder anyway. My sixth tip is going to be ask yourself what is your opponent threatening. Your opponent is not your friend, he wants to kill your king. So every time he moves, he could be preparing some kind of threat. So get used to ask yourself what is your opponent threatening every time he plays. 
My opponent plays knight f6 here. I'm planning to play knight f3, developing my pieces, but I remember I need to think about what is he threatening. So let me take a look. Oh, I see. He's threatening my pawn on e4, so probably I need to protect it. I'm just playing this three here. Oh, he just took my queen. I thought he was my friend. My tip number seven is learn from your mistakes. Analyze your games, see the moments where you did things very, very bad, and try to learn from that moment, analyze it, see what you did wrong and why it's wrong, and enjoy that moment, try to get something from that analysis. And I'm sure if you work like that, you will be able to avoid similar blunders in the future. My opponent plays queen h4. I need to continue developing my pieces. I like this move here, bishop b2, so that's what I'm playing. Scholar mate again. I wonder what I'm doing wrong here. And my last tip to avoid blunders is play, play, and play. When you are playing, you are watching mistakes, watching good moves, you are getting experience. So playing is definitely a good exercise to reduce the number of blunders you have in your games. He plays e5. I'm planning to play f3 here, protecting my pawn on g4. Usually that's a good idea, so I play it. <laughs> Fool's mate again. He always gives me the same mate. So this is the video I wanted to show you today. I hope you have enjoyed it. Also I hope these tips we saw here today are useful for you and also they help you to reduce the number of blunders you are having in your games. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And see you in the next.